In this video, we're going to focus on basic addition. Now, when you wish to add numbers, here's what you need to do. Let's say if you want to add 5 plus 3. The best way to do this is using a number line. So let's start with 5. If we wish to add 3, all you need to do is travel 3 units to the right to add. If you wish to subtract, travel to the left. So 5 plus 3, all we need to do is travel 3 spaces to the right. So this is going to be 6, 7, and 8. So we'll stop here. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And that's a simple way to do basic addition. So go ahead and try uh, these problems. 7 plus 4 and 3 plus 6. So 7 plus 4. Let's say if we started with 7 and we wish to add 4 to 7. We need to travel 4 spaces to the right on a number line. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11. So 7 plus 4 is 11. Now 3 plus 6, this is the same as 6 plus 3. I think it's easier if you start with 6 and then travel 3 spaces to the right instead of starting with 3 and then travel 6 spaces to the right. So 1, 2, 3. 6 plus 3 or 3 plus 6, they're both equal to 9. Now let's say if we have a negative number, negative 6 plus 4. Go ahead and try that example. So in this case, let's start with negative 6 and then we need to add 4. So we need to travel 4 units to the right. So what's the next number to the right of negative 6? on a number line. The next number is negative 5, and then negative 4, negative 3, and negative 2. So negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So try these two. What's negative 3 plus 5? And what's negative 7 plus 3? So negative 3 plus 5. So let's start with negative 3. And then let's travel five spaces to the right. So this is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So negative 3 plus 5, which is really the same as 5 plus negative 3, which is 5 minus 3, this is equal to 2. Now negative 7 plus 3. So let's start with negative 7, and let's travel three spaces to the right. So this is negative 6 negative 5, negative 4, so negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. And so that's how you can add a negative number with a positive number. Now what about adding a two-digit number with another two-digit number? So what can we do here? What is 43 plus 25? When you have a problem like this, it's best to write them in this format and then just add the numbers individually. So first, we're going to add 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3, if you use a number line, if you start with 5 and travel 3 spaces to the right, you'll get 8. And then 4 plus 2. So if you start with 4, and if you travel 2 spaces to the right, you're going to get 6. So 43 plus 25 is 68. So go ahead and try these examples. 34 plus 23 and 76 plus 22. So first we're going to add 4 and 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we're going to add 3 plus 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's 34 plus 23 is 57. Now for the next one, let's add 76 and 22. So let's start with 6 plus 2, which is 8. And then 7 plus 2, which is 9. So this gives us 98 as our final answer. Now what if you have an example like this? 47 plus 38. Try that example. So 
So what is 8 plus 7? 8 plus 7 is greater than 10. It's 15. And so if you get something that's larger than 10, you don't want to write 15. What you want to write is the first digit 5, but the 1, you need to add it to the next column. So you need to carry over the 1. And now we need to add these three numbers. So you have 1 plus 4, which is 5, and then 5 plus 3 is 8. And so the answer is 85. Let's try another example like that. So let's try 30, let's say 36 plus 59. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work out that problem. So here we have 9 plus 6, which is 15. So we're going to write the 5, carry over the 1, and then we're going to add 1 plus 3 plus 5. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. And so this will give us 95. And so that's how you could uh, do basic addition. Now, what about adding a three-digit number with, let's say, a two-digit number? Go ahead and try that example. So all we need to do is line up everything. So you need to set it up like this. You don't want to write it like this because it, it just doesn't make sense. The 4 is in the tens place, and the 3 is in the tens place, so they have to be aligned correctly. The 2 is in the hundreds place, and it doesn't match with the 4, which is in the tens place. So now let's add. So first we're going to add 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9 is 14, so let's write the 4, and then let's carry over the 1. And now we're going to add 1 plus 3 plus 4. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And we don't have anything to carry over, so the last thing we need to do is bring down a 2. So this is going to give us 284. Now let's try a different example. Let's say we have 376 plus 80, let's say 87. Go ahead and add those two numbers. So let's line up everything first. Now let's start by adding 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. So let's write the 3, carry over the 1. And then let's add these three numbers. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. So let's write the 6, carry over the 1. And then finally we can add 1 plus 3, which is 4. So the final answer is 463. Now, what if we have, let's say, three numbers to add? 465 plus, let's say, 236 plus 75. How can we add three numbers? All you need to do is just stack the three numbers together, just like this. And then just add. So let's add the first column. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. So let's write the 6, carry over the 1. And now let's move on to the second column. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. So write the 7, carry over the 1. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. The order in which you add doesn't matter. 5 plus 3 or 3 plus 5, it's still equal to 8. So I can just add it 1 plus 4 plus 2 or 2 plus 4 plus 1. It will still give me 7. So the final answer here is 776. Let's try another example. 1785 plus 643 plus, let's say, 89 plus 7. So go ahead and add these four numbers together. So let's begin by lining up everything. So we have 1785, 643, 89, and 7. So let's start with the first column. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 7 is 24. 
So let's write the 4, carry over the 2. Now let's move on to the second column. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. So write the 2, carry over the other 2. And then we have 2 plus 7, which is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. Write the 5, carry over the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So the answer is 25, 24. And you can plug these numbers into the calculator just to see if you have the right answer. Just to check your work. And the sum is indeed 25, 24. And so that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to add numbers, even add in a group of numbers. So you can just stack the numbers together and just add column by column. And make sure to carry over any digit in the tens place. Thanks for watching.